Hi Aquarius, thank you for being here with me. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. Uh, all links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's go ahead and jump into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. So Aquarius, what I was getting off camera for you is um, you have to kick something up into high gear. <clears throat> You're going to get some type of messages, maybe around this new moon, the next full moon is going to allow for you to actually um, get out of some negative cycle, something that's been spiraling in your brain, in your mind, or something where you feel like you're stuck, you know, you're, you're trapped. Um, maybe some in insight or some knowledge is going to come to you about maybe someone else who is stuck or trapped or in jail. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> it looks like you're going to get the victory here, but not without hard work, dedication, and sacrifice. You may get so busy to where you, you may kind of crack under the weight of having so much to do. But busy is always a good thing because the opposite of busy is not busy. So it looks like uh, the universe just wanted to give you that message. All right. Also, um, Aquarius. Let me go ahead and add this too. Um, blessings equal godly counsel. So who are you getting your counsel from? Are they godly? Okay. Um, you might find that your blessings have stopped or they're, they're slowing down because the people that you're conversing with, that you're conferring with, that you are going over your plans with, it's just not godly people. Also, off camera, what I was getting is you're going to be making a lot of money. Money's going to be coming in. It's time for you to keep your plans to yourself, you know, because there's a lot of people watching. They're masquerading as if they're not watching you or they're not wanting to know what you're doing, but they want to know. And then also, Aquarius, um, the spirit wanted you to know that security of the Lord is to those he set apart. Now, he is just the pronoun used, but we can insert God. Security of the Lord is to those that God has set apart, you know. So um, do know if you feel like you have been an outcast, shunned, the black sheep, the one who is always made to be different or pointed out, uh, or maybe just the... Once again, the outcast, maybe you are set apart. And do know that God's security is is to uh, you, to those who are set apart. So that's good. And if your heart is righteous, if you're just striving for right, to do the right thing each and every day, that's all we, we really can do. Do the right thing. You know right from wrong. Do the right thing. Okay? Um, then uh, God's security is, is for you. So let's go ahead and get into it, Aquarius. Let's see what's going on for Aquarius this week. What's going on for Aquarius this week? All right, the page of wands here, very nice. So this is going to be um, some fun, exciting, explorative communication coming to you. For some of you, this could be the opportunity to have like a fling, you know, maybe, you know, a little sexual encounter if that's what you're on. This is somebody, no strings attached. They jump, they dive in head first. It is what it is. We have no plan. We don't know where we're going after this, okay? Um, <clears throat> there also, once again, could be good news coming in to you. Um, news that requires you to take action, you know, take action on something, in something. So, let's see. The Four of Cups. All right, so some of you might turn this down. Uh, you don't want to be a part of it uh it might be a missed opportunity or it's just not what you're looking for um also if somebody else comes to you you might have to turn them down yeah you might have to turn a certain person down you don't want to get to a place of regret remorse resentment and you probably feel it going there um, you're over it, whatever it may be. Also, the, 
this person may not be enough for you. Also, this could just be where this is the relationship with a lot of um, false starts. Um, this person may come back to you and uh, want to start something up again. And it may be kind of fun loving, sexual in nature. They're not really seeing the value in you or they didn't see the value in you. Let's see. The devil. <sighs> Can't make this shit up. This, de this person is definitely about, you know, playfulness and sex and fun and rock and roll and hanging out and all things carnal, all things worldly, all things flesh related pleasure, you know. The cards are just warning you, Aquarius, make sure that you make the right choice here in terms of dealing with this person because I think you already know what they have to offer you and it's not much. Let's see. Yeah, the three of cups. It also could be that this person has another party too. They have several, you know, I heard several, okay. Uh, you could be dealing with Capricorn, Cancer, Cancer coming up heavy, uh, Aries, Sagittarius, and Leo. Um, This person could be communicating their emotions, their thoughts to you. This person could be trying, they could be obsessed with you or trying to draw you back in. Um, they could be fantasizing about you, daydreaming about you. Pleasuring themselves to thoughts of you or maybe even pictures of you. The Hierophant. And there's the moral high ground, the values, the... Uh, the mediator, the go-between, the structure, okay? Um, <clears throat> this person may feel as if you, you could be dealing with a Taurus. There's somebody who has like sexual addiction here. There's somebody who really needs help, whether they know it or not, whether they want to take to that information or not. You may be turning this person down because once again, you already know what they offer. You're, you already know what they're offering other people also. It's just not good enough. Somebody wants you to be a part of this third party situation and they can already be married too. <clears throat> what they have to offer you is just all things pleasurable. Um, all things fun. All things exciting. Let's see. Um, they need to, they need some morals. They need some values. Um, they definitely aren't thinking about those. The King of Wands. So um, we've got somebody. He's typically married with children. With the King of Wands. Um, but he's very independent. He does what he wants to do also. Um, so you could be dealing with someone like that. This is someone who desires you. They have you in their heart. Heart's desire. They desire to be with you. To lay with you. To do whatever with you. Um, what they're offering is much of nothing uh i mean if you're if you're into it jump to it um this person uh they they don't see the value in this relationship maybe even in having a relationship with you they may even feel like they missed out on an opportunity with you um maybe even to apologize to you or something of that nature this person could have preyed on you five of swords yeah it's just a situation where there is going to be no winners it's just everybody loses here three of pentacles because it's a third party situation somebody is selfish uh, self-centered they're out for themselves they have their own self-centered desires they want to get them first i want to do what i want to do first i want to get what i want to get first this person could want you to be in a long-term love affair with them Especially if they're already committed, if they're already in a relationship, a marriage. They want you to be a long-term third party. They want you to be the long-term girlfriend with the Three of Pentacles here. And then the Three of Wands. This person definitely wants to create this with you. They want to create, um, they want to continuously be in a creation mode with you. You bring that creative energy to an established relationship. Maybe one that is stagnant, stuck, not going anywhere rigid with you there's opportunity there's enlightenment there's fun there's zeal there's zest there's all of those things and 
this person wants to use you for just that. They want you around for that. They want you around so that they can cope better with their relationship. Yeah, the King of Swords definitely dealing with someone who is already married or someone who wants to be a bachelor. They have other people. They want you a part of the team. Okay. Um, they see the value in having you on the team. Okay. Um, you provide something that they have not had before in their life. And, and they don't want to go without it. But also there's an energy of other people, other women, other men provide something for them too. Also, this could be a relationship where you and this person, you, you um, were dating for a very long time. You're dating for a very long time. Maybe the relationship is without status, without establishment. You know, you being his girlfriend or boyfriend or Fiance, it's something where it, it's it's just not growing, and this person doesn't want it to grow beyond the hermit car. You guys could be separated from one another. It seems as if this person doesn't feel they feel like it's not over. Um, opportunity is is coming back around. They're just waiting. They're they're also in a place of understanding that maybe this is just a period of you guys not talking, not coming together. Um, but you guys will come together eventually. They're waiting for this. They feel like they've invested a lot or too much to just let it go, um, to just walk away here. So Aquarius, this is what I have for you. I hope that it resonates for you. If it does, go over to the website, book your own reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text a question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel by clicking the buy me a coffee link. Thank you. Many blessings to you.